What is up you guys? My name is Selena. Today's gonna be a tutorial showing you guys how to do different types of color grading effects to create unique looks for your videos and you can create like retro style VHS looks and yeah I think this is gonna be pretty useful for you guys because there's a bunch of different color tools that you can use. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay so I have my first clip right here and let's just make a new adjustment layer so that we can start to add all our effects on it. Okay, so one of the first things we can do is search up Lumetri color and effects and put it on our adjustment layer. And one thing that I think you can use to make your videos very unique is go down to like the highlight tints and play around with like unique colors. And there's a whole bunch of effects in Lumetri Color. I actually have a color grading tutorial. I'll link it in the description. But to create like a unique effect, I'm gonna make the highlight have like a pink tint. And then another thing that you can do is for a VHS old fashioned look, we're gonna search up sharpen in effects. And we can just sharpen this to about 68. Because I know that old VHS cameras have like really sharp looks to the videos. And we can also add some noise on this. So I'm just going to bring that noise to like 29% so it has like an old fashioned retro vibe. Okay, another effect that you can add to create a cool color look is to use channel blur. So I'm going to search that up in effects and you can play around with all of the different blurriness. You, you don't want to add too much, um, so just having like a subtle effect is nice. So I'm going to keep the red blurriness at 15 because I like that 3D sort of blue and red RGB look on it, which I know VHS cameras kind of have like a very subtle look to it. Okay, now another cool effect that you can do is play around with chromatic aberration using RGB. I'm just gonna first bring my adjustment layer to the fourth video line and then we're gonna search up RGB and effects and then I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to screen and then I'm gonna drag it twice up so that we have three layers of the same clip. Okay, so now you can play around with the different balances. So for my top clip, you can change the green to zero and then maybe for the second clip, you can change red to zero. And then for your bottom clip, you can offset it so it has like a lagging look to it. So I can bring my bottom clip like 0.1 seconds after my other clips so that it has a small lagging effect. And this looks pretty cool. You can see some of the blurriness and yeah. So you can kind of play around with uh, the numbers. So I can go to my middle clip and actually change green to zero and keep blue at 100. And it has this cool effect here. And then on my top one, I'll change blue to zero. And yeah, you can play around. You're going to see different colors. So with this effect, it has like a lagging RGB split. And it looks really cool. I really like this effect. So you can play around with the different colors and stuff. And you can create this cool chromatic aberration effect. But in the beginning, you're just going to want to cut off the excess clip before the bottom clip starts so we can go to the very beginning right before anything starts and then we can press Q until all of our clips start at the same time. Okay so now if you want to add like the black edges so it looks like a VHS camera it's like low quality kind you can go and add a new color mat so we're gonna keep this color at black and then press OK and then we can drag it onto our fifth video line. And then we're going to search up crop in effects and put that on our color mat. And then we're going to adjust the left percentage to about 85. And then we're going to hold alt on the color mat and then bring it to the next video line. And then we're going to reset the left and then change the right to 85%. So now we have those black corners. And so yeah, I kind of just want you guys to keep playing around with the different effects. Um, maybe you want to add some faded film look. Um, one thing you could do to make like a VHS style is a lot of VHS cameras when you zoom in it's like really smooth and stuff. So like if your camera is moving, if you're filming someone, you can scale in and it'll create like a cool fake zooming in effect. So you can create keyframes and do that. And yeah, I definitely think I'm going to try to be using these effects in a future project. And I think it's pretty cool. You can play around and create like super unique effects. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.